Hello everybody, Ragtag Sagby here, welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, last two episodes, we came to the Heart Home City Gym, did a bunch of math and fought trainers and defeated the gym leader, uh, Fantina. And got ourselves a relic badge. Let's move the amulet coin onto Hideyoshi. Now it's time. Have I speaking to you? Aldana, you've been the gym leader. There's ah, there seems to be no end to how tough you are getting. At least that's how I see it. You do realize I'm saying that to everyone, right? <laughs> Yeah, way to not get our hopes up. Anyway, let's uh, take off. I'm so glad to see you. You're not very easy to track down. My grandma told me about uh, what took place in Celestic Town. Thanks for you. Thanks for what you did it by the ruins. But that Team Galactic. I thought they were just a bunch of, of effortics? You know, talking about out how they are going to make a new universe and all, and that weird way they are dressed too, I thought they were harmless. But it appears it appears as if they are a lot more than just than than what I thought. I mean stealing and hoarding Pokemon? That's just plain wrong. By the way, did you find the ruins interesting at all? If you did, you may want to visit the library in Canalive City. They have all sorts of ancient books that might that you might find interesting. It also may help it also may be of help to complete your Pokedex. I figure you ought to go there. Okay, bye-bye for now. We now have a destination in mind, being Candlelife City. But of course, we've just got the move Surf, so there's a few areas... Uh, there's one major area of interest that we should look into, and that's around here. Here that we can currently do. Let's hit the Formaroma. Let's also make sure we're he all nice and healed up. So now we have the ability to surf in the water. Meaning water routes are accessible to us. There's one, uh, there are technically two routes. There's one route we now have ex that's now accessible via surf, but I'm gonna wait until much later in the game before we go there. For now, there's actually something we can explore or that's around here. Might as well grab the uh, berries I'm growing here. To remind myself to uh, plant some new ones later. So let's surf. First off, we want to surf in this general direction. So we surf on a bee barrel. Uh, and also, you can encounter Pokemon while surfing. In fact, I think there are some Pokemon you can only find from surfing, so... At least in this game, because of the, uh, of the app, you don't have to, uh, have a Pokemon learn surf, so that way you can, um, surf around. So if there's a Pokemon you want that's in the water, you don't have to capture a water type to go get it. One, two, three. And Wingo is caught. We'll add Wingo's data. It makes its nests on steep sea cliffs. Riding up drafts, it soars to great heights. Right, we come here. We can get TM24 Thunderbolt. So you can get a free Thunderbolt TM right here, which I'm gonna immediately teach this to Trace.
That's it's 90 power, so goodbye, bolt switch. All right, let's surf on by. I don't think there's anything that's on this portion of land that we need to find. Also, I love whenever you hop off a bee barrel and it sinks into the water. It sounds like it, as if it's drowning. Like it's sort of like blah, 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 blah. It sounds like as if, okay. It sounds like as if, okay, bee barrel, I'm gonna jump off, off you and now you're gonna sink into the bottom of the water and drown. Like, it honestly does sound like as if it's drowning. Anyway, over here we can get some berries. Uh, if you're planning on growing berries, this is not a good spot to grow them, given that you have to surf all the way here. So, do not use this as your berry growing spot. Let's get some um, wheat pear berries. And some Kelsey berries. Uh, there's some grass here. I forget if you can find... I know there's some Pokemon you can find there, but I forget if you can find them normally right now, or if you have to... Or is that later on? Anyway, welcome to Fungo Ironworks, home to Molten Foundries. Now this would be a better place in the uh, in Pokemon Platinum because a lot of fire types were added in this location. But of course, it brings in these silly tiles. So basically, once you step on the tile, you are forced into that direction until you hit a wall. Oh, or can no longer move. And then of course, we have some battles in here. I work at a red hot foundry. Watch out, I'm on fire! Damon sends out a mop chop. Okay. Let's just burn this mop chop. Here comes another. Oh, it's a mock choke. Never mind. I thought it was a mock chop. Of course, it survives the ember. One more should do it. Down goes Macho. I burned out. I've toughened up my muscles from honest work. Pokemon have nothing on me. Alright, so let's see. Let's continue deeper into the works. Alright, there's nothing over there. Uh, I forget which way do you go. You go up that way. Uh, I think I'll I think I'll try this direction. Get us some burn heal. Ah, uh, this leads to a dead end. So, get us an item, but to a dead end. We take it the bottom path. We're spinning! Whoa, it's not often we get a visitor like you to the ironworks. Let's mark this occasion with a battle. Hold in! We're apparently by- we're apparently fighting a car! Ooh, 
Ooh, and Steelix. Ooh, should I keep Hideyoshi out? Oh, I know Steelix is part ground. Does, is it still weak to fire? Yes, it is. And oh, of course it survives it. Please don't hit me with like an earthquake or something. Okay, that isn't as bad, but still. And I believe Sand Tomb, I think, prevents me from escaping. Close combat! Let me try that again. Hideyoshi grew to level 42. Wants to learn Fire Spin. Not interested. Fire! The floor panels move automatically. We're pretty proud of them here. Even though I don't think any Pokemon fan ever says that ever. Uh, let's put Lewis into the front. So that goes that way. We go down here. I think that's a trap because that's going to put us back at the beginning. So this way it is. See, this will take us back this way. We can't go that way, so I think we go this way. No. Okay, where on earth do we go? You take me back to the beginning, don't you? Oh, no, wait. I think I come this way. Go here. Yeah, we hit the barrel. Up here, we find a firestone. So if you have a Pokemon that can evolve via Firestone, there's that. Okay, let me take a look here. I think if we want to get to the center, we need to take the bottom arrow. Uh, that arrow... No, wait. Let's see, down. So it hits that, then goes up to the side, up. Nope, that's going to take us back. This, I think, takes us where we need to go. Where does... Okay, I think we want the item we need to take. No! Oh, no, wait. This got us to the center, but we missed the item. So I think it was top we needed to take. Oh, no, wait. Steady movements. <sighs> Gives us a rock set. Oh, wait, I think, yeah, I think center get takes us out. I think. Yeah, it takes us out. Let's battle this worker. Are you maybe getting annoyed by the floor panels you take? Why yes, because no Pokemon fan loves this mechanic. Gonna bring out a Rapidash. Lewis, put that fire out. All right, one more water gun should do it. Screwed level 42. I'm going down in flames. I'd put. I. No, not Pachirisu. 
Let me check, what is your experience between the two? Ooh, Lola's close to level up, so... Her in the top. The sweat of working, irking man, is a beautiful to behold. There's also beauty in the tears wept from defeat. I've never heard anybody say, like, yes, yeah, being sweaty is beautiful. Here we can get TM35 Flamethrower. Really good fire type move. You can get that for free here. I'm debating me I'll teach that to Hideyoshi. So that way he'll have a much more stronger uh, fire attack. Um, also debating if I'm going to teach him uh, Shadow Claw or not. Shadow Claw could be useful. This is again, he's more of a special attacker. So I want him to have some special moves. I'll keep it in debate and see what special moves he can learn. If he doesn't learn much, then I might teach him Shadow Claw. Because close, close combat is useful, Flare Bits is useful. I don't know if I'll keep Power Up Punch. I'll definitely teach him a uh, Flamethrower. So that way he has a more, more stronger special attack. And a fire type move that doesn't damage him. Whoa, hello! It's not often I get a visitor here. I tried to make the iron works run better with moving floor tiles. But no one was happy about it. They said they just move the moving floor made them dizzy. But you don't want to listen to me whine, so here's a souvenir. He also gives you a firestone, so you can get two firestones off this place. My iron works would be nothing if there were no iron. That's why I'm always thankful for nature supplying me with iron. And that is it for the uh, works. There's one other place I want to go with Surf. I think we can be able to squeeze it in for this episode. Anyway, uh, speaking about the episode, today the day I'm recording this is when Legends Arceus started leaking. Uh, if you don't know, somebody's gotten a copy of the game early, and so far I don't think the ROM has been dumped, so I don't think nobody's data mined it yet. But there, there has been images searching, uh, surfacing. Some of these images that, I, that I've seen so far are, looks like to be the beginning of the game, and if it's actually real, which looks very much real, the beginning of the game is definitely interesting. I'll say that much. We'll definitely get to it if, when I do Legends, but I also don't know if this episode's gonna be coming out before Legends comes out or afterwards. Okay, Hideyoshi, can you please? I need to switch you out. Come on out, Lola. So we are now back at the flower fields behind where we were when we first entered here. And there's a bunch of hidden items here. Basically, you want to follow the path of the flowers, and any time there's a dead end, you want to you want to uh, check out the dead ends, as there's a chance there might be an item hidden in one of those dead ends. Lola is blushing happily for some reason. Aw, that sounds adorable. There's also items that are out in plain sight, but I know there's a few hidden items here. Here you can find a Miracle Seed to boost your grass type Pokemon. Some free jar of honey. Again, you want to check out everywhere where there's a dead end. Typically that's where items are hidden in this location. Ooh, Hyper Potion. That's pretty sweet. And a Leaf Stone. So if you have certain grass type Pokemon, you can evolve it with a Leaf Stone. And another Jar of Honey. I think that's all the items? Yeah, so we're back at the Honey Salesman, man. Ooh, Lola had something. A Mongo Berry. Ooh, I'm gonna have to check to see if I have any of those yet. Add it and plant it later. So anyway, we want to quickly go down to the caves here. Because, um... 
Just gonna check, have I gotten what's down this cut uh, tree? I could have sworn I did, but I just want to make sure. Oh yeah, because you gave me Snarl. I don't know if I'll teach that to anybody. I think the only person that can learn Snarl is, um... Uh, Trace. Anyway, we want to go in here. So now we can clear this place out. So smash all the rocks. Time to go swimming. So let's fully explore this place. Um, I believe we can't fully explore the cave that's in Mount Coronet because I believe we're still missing a, um, a badge for strength. I believe we need strength before we can clear that place out. And we're being attacked by a bat. Alright, everything is level 4 here so I have no reason to fight them. Come here. We can get a jar of luck incense. Basically, the jar of luck incense pretty much behaves identically to the amulet coin. It just gives you a means of putting a second uh, item money, uh, a second item on a Pokemon to get you double money. Uh, before you uh, ask, the uh, amulet coin and the luck incense do not stack on each other. So don't think you can equip them to two Pokemon, and if both Pokemon enter the battle, you're gonna get like four times the money. No, it, it doesn't work like that, sadly. They knew what they were doing when they, uh, when they had those items, so yeah, you, the, uh, Amulet Coin and Luck Incense do not stack. So you cannot get four times the amount of what you win. Alright, come here and you can get TMO Free Water Pulse, which, uh, I might teach that to somebody. I'm gonna have to think who I'll teach it to. Uh, that TM is pretty easy to get from the vendors in the underground, but if you want to get like a free Water Pulse TM, uh, by all means. Anyway, I think we're done for this episode. In the next episode, we'll start making our way to Candlelife City. It's gonna be interesting. If you enjoyed this episode, do like the video, it helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below if you enjoy um, uh, what your thoughts on this episode is, and also share the video so way more people can discover my content and help the channel grow. I greatly appreciate your guys' support. And I will see you next time. Later.